Greetings viewers and welcome to an all new episode of the OER Life Leaders Speak. Today we have with us somebody truly special, Mr. JP Menon, the CEO of MHD ITEX, a company that has been a staunch supporter of OER Live and its initiatives, including the OER Live Digital Transformation Conference and Awards. We're here to talk about how they're enabling the market and aiding digital transformation in the country. Mr. JP, welcome to OER Live Leaders Speak. So our first question to you is, how has the growth of MHD ITX been and what are your growth potentials for the coming years ahead? Having completed a year plus as ITX as a cluster, I would say that uh, it's been uh, uh, a year of uh, learning, it's been a year of uh, fulfillment. It's also been a challenging year, 2021 being the kind of year it was, it, it has been a challenging year. However, the learning has been good. We've uh, also grown. We've added uh, a lot of new businesses. Our consumer division especially has expanded. Our technology division has expanded. Our industrial products have uh, added a lot of new products and new brands. So it's been a good year. And uh, we continue to focus on growth. Growth in Oman as well as growth outside Oman. Uh, right now, as we speak, this week we have just concluded uh, the acquisition of a company in Dubai, which is in the domain of technology, primarily providing, again, uh, equipment and services to the telecom industry in uh, UAE. It's an existing, running, uh, profit-making company. We've been looking at getting into UAE for this kind of business for some time now, but uh, we decided against going greenfield because that would take a longer time to set up and also a very long time to acquire customers. We felt it was better to look at a potential running target and pick that up. Luckily things worked out and from next month we'll be running that company as our own. That is great to hear. How are you an enabler of digital transformation here in Oman? Uh, digital transformation is uh, is a reality, it's a possibility anyway. You can do it in your uh, you know, hospitality industry, you can do it in industry, any kind of industry. You can do it in uh, passive structures, you can do it in active uh, structures. So as an organization, we have multiple solutions across different domains that can be offered to businesses. Now that's very interesting, so can you elaborate a bit more on how MHD ITEX is fulfilling all the goals of the Oman Vision 2040? We, we are doing things that, uh, you know, obviously, now for instance, uh, like I told you earlier, our uh, technology division is bringing in a lot of new things, enabling new technologies, digital transformation, working on areas that uh, brings in current relevant technology from elsewhere to help businesses over here. Uh, we are looking at innovation in a big way. We are tying up with the new partners all the time for uh, new areas of uh, businesses related to the technology area, related to the innovation area, related to logistics, providing backbone to logistics and other things, uh, basic Things which have become basic now, like uh, IoT and uh, blockchain and things like that. So I would say that uh, it's very important for anybody who is serious about business in this country to ensure that they keep in line with the policies and the, the vision per se outlined in that document. Otherwise, you're going to be irrelevant. Thank you so much, sir. Before we end our interview, we have one last question. As a supporter of the OER Live Digital Transformation Conference and Awards, what are some of the things that you expect from us this year? We talk about digital transformation, while we talk about the digital economy, while we talk about innovation and technology, a lot of it stays as words on paper. You don't really see action and I don't blame the government for it. It's not really the government's fault. The government is enabling wherever they can. The government is pushing everybody, not just in the public sector, the private sector also to do it. But the people on the ground who really need to do it, 
a lot of them are not able to understand or grasp the need for it there are a lot of people who think this is not relevant to my business there are people who think it's not relevant for today a lot of people who think it's too expensive not understanding that by not doing it business is going to be even more expensive so as a prime media agency in this country and as you know as also an organization that can actually help form opinion you actually need to bring such subjects up for debate so the oer digital transformation live programs play a huge role in bringing uppermost to the minds of people who matter the relevance of all these things the need to embark on digital transformation and you know make it happen